everybody, it's me, Stacy, here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, and it's time for Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 290, counting down to 300. I have Debbie Moore for you today. And if you don't know who Debbie Moore is, you are going to love her. I, and I only have a very small representation of her product. I mean, just a tiny little, little snippet of what it is that she does, but I will get to her momentarily. First off, a big thank you. Big isn't quite the word. An enormous thank you to all of you who purchased my, my Colorations paper. It's my brand of paper. It retailed for $9.99. We, we fire sailed it for $2.99 on the anticipation that our insurance company is no longer going to pay for our rental home while we try to reach a settlement with them, while we try to work through all of these things. I, 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 I don't know if it's their way of playing hardball with us. I, I just don't know why. I have plenty of insurance to cover the rental home for another year and a half if I need it, but they're the ones who hold the purse strings even though I paid for the insurance. So I literally, I'm looking at my phone because they're supposed to email me today or tomorrow and let me know whether we have to vacate or not. So Mr. SMS is the one who has so much gratitude to all of you because he is the one who would have had to move the paper from the rental house, which is where we store it because we don't have any room here, to wherever we were gonna move it to and then to the, to the warehouse as it sold. And um, I love Mr. SMS, but neither of us are spring chickens anymore and paper's heavy. So the fact that it just has to come here you know, we'll, we'll do maybe five or 10 boxes a day as we're shipping it out. I can't really thank you enough. And he can't thank you enough. He is just overwhelmed with gratitude because we just didn't know what we were going to do. So we wait <laughs> optimistically that the insurance company will find it in their heart to extend our rental home for us while we continue to wind our way through this never-ending maze of of what it is to have your house burn down <laughs> and do it with the biggest smile i possibly can now i have two things two things i want to say first from justin just in time he was a winner winner chicken dinner and it turned out uh, that's how i talked about his name just in it's just in just in one and it turned out that he was named just in because he was born on his due date just in time anyway justin i got the winner winner chicken dinner scratchers <laughs> i'm very excited i haven't done them yet i am waiting until i'm gonna have mr sms there and we're gonna do them together and if we win i'm gonna split it with you dude <laughs> They're little scratchers, like lottery scratchers, and the, the, the name of them are Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. So a big thank you, Justin. It, it was a really bad day when those landed on my desk, and you will never know how much I needed that in the moment because that was the day that the insurance company said that they weren't going to give us any more money for a rental. So thank you. Also to Sandy. Sandy, I did get your letter, and... Um, and I was so touched and so moved by it. And um, if, if I helped you and your husband in any way, if I brought a smile to his face at any time during, during the, the, the last few months of his life, well, that just makes everything worth it. It makes the insurance company and the problems that I'm having with them look so small. They're not that important. Making somebody happy and, and putting a smile on somebody's face, nobody can ever take that away from, from me or from you. Like when you make a card and you give it to somebody or you make a layout or a scrapbook or a mini album and you give it to somebody and they, their face lights up, that can never be taken away. So if I did that for you, thank you. Thank you for letting me know, and I, you blessed me with that letter. So I just wanted to pass that along too. All right, now I've got Debbie Moore for you today, and I'm gonna put on my pause face because you might need it. The product that I have for you is limited. Debbie Moore is from the United Kingdom. Well, let me put on my pause face. Mm. 
You may want to go look and see what we've got because we've only got so much of it. Okay, you're back. Now, Debbie Moore is from the United Kingdom. And when I went to Creativation in Arizona in January, she was on, there's a short list of people I wanted. There, so I have appointments that I have to see. And then there's a short list of people I want to see if I have time. And then there's a shorter list of people that I prioritize. And then there's a really short list of, I'm going to find a way to make time to see you. And Debbie was on that, I'm going to find a way to get to your booth. One way or another, I'm stopping at your booth when I found out that they were going to be there because it was the first year they'd ever been to the show. She is fabulous. She is a talker like me, which, oh my gosh, you put the two of us together. Ah! <laughs> she is a businesswoman with a, a small staff. She's very much like us, only in the UK and doing um, products that she's wholesaling. She doesn't have a, a huge, large staff, but they are go-getters and they are doers and they are achievers and they put their nose to the grindstone and get it done. And Jessica, who I've been dealing with, has been amazing, just amazing, truly wonderful. And again, I just have this small little snippet of their product, but it is limited. I only have so much of it. And it's for every level of crafter. The kit that I have for you today was originally designed for the United Kingdom. And they do these massive cards in the United Kingdom. I'm like, Debbie, I love all of this, but these are huge. And she said, well, what if we, what if we reformulate and we bring them down to sizes for the US market for you? I said, you would do that? And she said, yes, of course we would do that for you. We'd love to do that for you. That would be lovely. <laughs> no, like, okay, because to reconfigure what she did means changing artwork. That means it's it's not just oh okay they were doing a huge card and now we're just going to supply you a little card. No, she had to change artwork to make everything fit. And I can't really thank them enough for what they did. But because of that, we are limited as to how many kits we have. And I want to say, conservatively, you're going to be able to do somewhere close to, if, you, if, you're, if you're good with your paper, you probably get 40, at least 40 cards out of what's in this kit. Now, they give you cards and envelopes for a good portion of cards. You'll have to add some cards and envelopes to card bases to get up towards a 40. But I'm sure you can get at least that many out of this kit. And then if you're a scrapbooker, Oh my gosh, the matting papers for your your pictures you can use and the it's just beautiful. You can take everything in this kit and put it into your layouts. And if you do DIY or mixed media or altered art, it's the same. You're going to be able to use all of this. So I'm going to start with that kit first because it is for everybody. You don't need a die cutting machine. You don't need stamps. You don't need it's it's really made for everybody and then we're gonna move on to some other product that's a little bit more ooh. <laughs> but again limited so if you have to pause me to go look look under the YouTube yummies category and see if it's something you might like and then and so pause me if you have to pause me <laughs> there it is my pause face and and then come back and finish the YouTube so I just think that what they did was astonishing and amazing, and I am so very thankful for, for all the efforts that they put forth on my behalf and your behalf. So, I have winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about really quick, and this was for my Simply Defined Slow That Horse Down collection. I know, the weirdest name ever, but if you watch the YouTube, which was last, 289, you will know why I named it that. <laughs> And then 288 is the 2019 do's and don'ts of the Sizzix Big Shot Machine. So anyway, I've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to announce. And there's always two of you. And I'm very, very excited to say that Vivian, Vivian Carden. Hello, Vivian Carden. Is that you? Is that you? Oh, you're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Got you. For you. Look, I got the little shoulders going. <laughs> but you're not alone, Vivian. You have a friend. Who is your friend in winning? An, uh, well, you've got the sentiments and the under the sky die. Congratulations. How about Lexi? Lexi Williams. 
Hello, Lexi. How are you today? Well, I think you should be doing better. Why? Because you're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Congratulations. Wahoo. Cut you for you. <laughs> I hope you both are doing the happy dance and that um, that you're so excited to be a winner winner chicken dinner. You just never know when it's going to be your turn. But if you do not post a comment, it does not count. And live chat does not count. You actually have to post a comment. We will approve it. And then you go into the running. We have software that randomly picks winner winner chicken dinners. And I hear it all the time. I never thought. Well, surprise. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put those aside. I'm going to tell you that we've got eyes ink that we're playing with. We will be die cutting and doing some stamping, but the first thing I want to start with is the, the kit that was done that was reconfigured just for me, just for you, and limited on the quantities of everything you see here. So if it touches your heart or it makes you happy, or you think, oh my gosh, I can do that. Well, I know you can, but Go place an order for it, and if you want to wait till the end of the YouTube to see everything that I've got, I totally understand. And if this isn't for you at all, that's okay. Hang with us anyway. We're having a great time today. You might just find that you love the eyes ink glitter and didn't even know about it. Okay, so I'm going to tilt on down. I'm going to show you the make and take that we've got for today, and we'll get started. All right, down we go. Bye, everybody. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom in. I know, so high tech. Okay. All right, so downstairs, they're making this card out of the kit that we did with Debbie. But they also could be making this card if they liked this card better. <laughs> Or they could be making a card like this. They have lots of options downstairs because they have a full sheet of punch outs to work with. So they can make any kind of card that makes their heart happy. What we have for you, let me see if I can grab this whole thing because it's big. What we have for you is Sunflower Dreams. And this was in the United Kingdom. I think it was on Create and Craft. And Sunflower Dreams is a Debbie Moore kit. Now, it comes with an inspiration page showing you things that you can do. Inside the kit, well, I'm going to pull I'm going to pull the back page because the back page also has, and look at, she put my logo on it. <gasps> Debbie, you so make my heart happy. <laughs> okay, so that's what comes in the kit. All of that is that craziness. It comes with 10 five by five square topper inserts. That would be these paper. It comes with 10 five by seven topper inserts, eight A by four, uh, A, A4 backing papers, two A5 tag um, die cuts that are already punched ready to go, five A4 die cut sheets, uh, one sheet of black cardstock in case you want to mat some of your things, a packet of stardust glitter, 10 craft five by five card blanks, 10 craft five by five envelopes, 10 white five by seven envelopes, 10 white five by seven card blanks, eight white A6. So she, she reformulated these to fit us. A6 card blanks and A6 envelopes. There is so much. So you've got the toppers. Now you're gonna look at that and go, oh, maybe I don't do square cards. I know. <sighs> look at what we did. We took this one and cut it in half and trimmed it so it fit onto an A6 card or an A2 card base. Ah, so cute. So you get, this is what I mean. You can cut this in half and utilize it. It's amazing. All of these can be cut on the diagonal and trimmed in half. And so you've got 10 of that size, all beautiful. You've got the 
the envelopes to go with them. You've got the card bases to go with. So if you do want to do a five by five card, she's giving you the base and all you got to do is map and start decorating. Oh my goodness gracious. You've got the, I think these are the A6 envelopes and the A6 cards, which we use A6, I sell A6 all the time. And then you've got toppers, more paper in the five by seven that again can be cut down to any size that you want. You've got the five by seven, oh, you've got the five by seven card bases and the five by seven envelopes. <laughs> and then you get into the fun stuff. So I'm gonna hold these out and I'm gonna put the card bases over there for right now. Then you get into the fun stuff. So you've got the toppers here. You've got the cute little tags here that are all pre die cut for you. All you gotta do is push them out. That's all you gotta do is push them out. And then you get into the different sheets. So downstairs in the make and take, everybody gets their very own sheet to work with. So they can, oh see, it wants to pop out. So they can make them those cards any way that they want. You can utilize these any way that makes your heart happy. And some of you are gonna be saying, oh, but it lacks creativity. Oh no, it does not. You have to figure out the layout. You have to figure out the paper. You have to figure out if you're going to bling, if you're going to add pearls, if you're going to add glitter. Then you've got the, the layering paper. And let me tell you, this is thick. Then you've got all of this paper to use as matting paper. And again, depending on how well you use it, you can just get a ton out. It is beautiful. Look at all of that. Turn that one facing you. <laughs> and then a sheet of card, black card stock in case you wanted to do kind of matting. And this feels, this is heavier than, um, this is heavier than 100 pound. This is way heavier than 100 pound. So it feels like 200 pound actually, card stock. So all of this comes in the kit. The kit is $24.99. I know, right? Is that not awesome? And then it's on a YouTube yummy. So it's really up to you how much you can get out of this and using it for your layouts, your scrapbooks, everything. But I want to show you how simple it is. So I think we will start with, well, I don't know, maybe I'll keep these two out and some of these and some of the layering paper grab some of the layering paper and I'm going to put some of this to the side because there's just so, I love this I love this one. Oh, I think I'm going to use those two so being that you have all of this to play with it's now up to you what do you want to do with it do I want to use these for my layering papers because I can I can simply take let's grab one of her cards let's find a, oh I forgot about these these are in there too that's a whole nother that's a, even more layering paper oh my goodness gracious and this one okay so hmm Maybe I'll use this one and this one. Okay, it's all, I have to pick, I have to choose and maybe I'll keep this one. And I really like that one. That's the one I wanna keep and this one. And then let's grab a couple card bases so I can play. So how to work this, it's easy peasy. You just have to decide what you wanna put on your card. Here's my card base fold it in half. Do I want to start with a matting paper on there? Because if I do, all I have to do is trim it down. I'm going to freehand. You are going to use your trimmer. I'm going to make some of you cringe, but that's okay. I'm okay with freehanding. Doesn't bother me one bit. And 
and then I'm going to just snip this right out. And I'm going to trim it on down just a little bit. That was a pretty good freehand, I have to say myself. Trim it down just a little bit. Just a little bit off the side. And let's see. Oh, I'm almost there. Just a little bit more, perhaps off the side. And a little bit more off the bottom. Okay. better. Oh yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> so I've got that done. Then I can decide, do I want to layer something else on top of that? I could. I could take this and trim this down. Because maybe I don't want to use the square version of it. Maybe I want to use it on my rectangle. So now I'm there. Gosh, and I could even trim it a little bit down further if I wanted to see more of my background. I could even take and trim here and trim here and trim a little off here. And now I can see more of my background. And then I could grab my, let's see, how do I want to do this? Put that there, that, I could put that over there. Hmm. Or maybe I want to put that in there. Oh, I could do that too. Oh, okay, let's do that. And then I can grab my little pop-outs over here and I can decide what I want it to look like. I've got tons of little pop-outs. And again, they do just pop right out. Easy peasy. I've got little borders over here. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Take, cut straight. Cut, cut, and cut, cut, cut. And I've got a perfect little border right here that I can play with. So if I'm here, I'm going to put that on the inside. I could put that there. Let's get some daisy tape. I could put this along the back so it breaks it up. Put that one like that. Oh yeah, super cute. Like that. And I could take this and I could take this with this, which is my little layering, my little border piece. And I could make a bigger background for this one. The whole thing about this is that it's up to you what you want it to be. She's given you so much. She's given you a working foundation where you're not having to try and match colors or find the perfect paper. You know everything in the kit is going to coordinate. So now I cut off some of that green so I could put my little butterflies on there. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Stacy tape and put my butterflies
Now you'll notice my Stacy tape. Oh, is it going to fit like by the hair of a chinny chin? Oh, by the hair of a chinny chin chin. Look at that. It's the exact width. Well, wahoo could shoo. I'm going to pull it off, expose the sticky because that's what Stacy tape is. It's double sided adhesive. It's sold under my Simply Defined brand. I'm going to lay my butterfly. I'm going to move this one off to the side. I'm going to lay my butterfly right on top of my green. Perfect. I'm going to put my green right on top of my matting. Another piece of Stacy tape. So if you are involved in a crafting club or if you're doing crafting at a senior center or church or for kids or this is an easy do because you get so much. Okay. Now I can trim off. Here I am. Now I can just trim off my sides. Zoop. Now I can take my beautiful card here and I can center it there. Can you see the whole thing coming together? And simple, yes, but it's only as simple as you want it to be. You do have options. On, do I want to pop this? I could pop this up if I wanted to add dimension. I could add pop tape and get this popped up for dimension. Do I have any pop foam over here? Hmm. Do I have any? Do I have any? Hmm. My guess is no. Okay, no pop top. Put some Stacy tape on the back of it. And. Ooh, but I could take this piece here if I wanted, if I didn't want to use this, and I didn't have any pop dots. I could take this, which is the extra, and kind of fold that into itself. And fold that into itself. And fold that into itself. And I could almost make it have dimension. Ha 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 ha. Where there's a will, there's a way. I just made I just made dimension out of a piece of paper. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Then I can lay that right. Oh, I'm gonna lay it wrong again. Lay that right on top. Ha ha ha. I made dimension. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and then I can put that on my card base. And before you know it, before you really even know it, you've got 10, 15, 20 cards done. And she gives you the cards and the envelopes for gosh, I want to say, is it 30 cards? Um, so you get 10, 20, so 28 cards, but I'm sure, I am positive that you can get at least 40 cards out of it, at least. If you watch how you cut your paper and what you do, so then I've got here, no, yes, I'm right, okay, here. And layer that on. And then I could take this piece here and put this in the center. And then there were sentiments. Lots and lots and lots of sentiments. What do we want to say? Um, birthday wishes? Sure, birthday wishes work for me. And I can pop that right there. And I'm done. But 
What if you wanted to take it to the next step? What if you did want to add a little something something to it? That's kind of where the Isink comes in. What is Isink? Okay, let me grab a piece of plain paper. Plain paper. What is Isink? Isink is a glitter. It's a glitter sold by a company called Aladine. They're out of France. Um, it's a it's a pasty glitter but what it does is it dries like that literally like that if you're used to using stickles which is a lovely product and we love ranger but if you don't have the time to wait for stickles to dry or you're like me and you'll put stickles down on something and then you'll do this and now it's everywhere including the back of your arm you're going to love eyes ink i want to say they've got at least 24 colors and we're in the process of picking the next 12 colors which they've asked me to help with which was very cool and when you put it down it dries in no time at all it comes in this little pouch so the color that you see there, that is the actual glitter. This little diamond is clear. The, the pouch is clear. So what, woo, dripping on me. So what you see in that pouch, it's not a representation of the color. It really is. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it moving in there? That is the glitter in there. And it dries just like a heart, I mean, in a heartbeat. Let's take some of the purple because I like the purple too. And you just push a little bit with your, ooh, a little bit with your finger. Get a little bit on there. And in no time at all, this, the gold, is already started to dry. The gold is almost dry. It takes anywhere from about 30, see this is already starting to dry. Can you see it's not moving? It takes anywhere from about 30 seconds to maybe two minutes to dry, depending on how thick you put it. But 30 seconds to two minutes is a whole lot faster than stickles. Yeah, this is almost dry. This is dry. So if you wanted to go in and you wanted to play, you absolutely could take a little bit of your eye zinc and go in there and add a little bit of glitter to it. Now she gives you some glitter to play with and it's glitter that you would use your glue with. This is just fast and simple and easy and done. And you can just add a little bit of glitter to add a little bit of something to it. And it dries so so fast. You also have the opportunity to play with um, with daubers, with color, with ink, if you wanted to distress your edges a little bit. That's also an opportunity for you. And you can take just your Memento ink, your Tim Holtz Distress ink. Okay, we're almost there. This one's well done. This one's just about there. That's amazing. It is so easy to use. But I could take a little bit of memento ink, or I could take distress ink, or whatever, um, if whatever you have that you're able to use either a dauber or a makeup sponge for, because then you can come around and you can just distress your edges. Just distress your edges a little bit. If you don't want it so bright, I, in fact, I can go inside here and just distress just add a little bit of color if I don't want it so white. I have the opportunity to play or I can choose not to play at all and just do as, as the, the kit shows you. And I think what happens most of the time so now I've gotten rid of all the white. And that way when I add my little, pull with, when I add my little sentiment, I can go in there and I can distress 
this one too. So it's not so, um, so stark in that color. And just give it a little edging, just to distress it just a little bit. When you're given a great foundation to work with, that gives you the time to play. You don't have to think about, well, what colors and what papers go with each other. You can choose um, to not worry about, does this cardstock match with this paper because you know it's done for you. And it just gives you more time to actually play with what you're doing. And so easy to do. So the kits are fabulous. And again, they're made for a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced crafter because they haven't given you set rules. Nothing's defined. Everything is, is to your taste, to your skill level, and to your thoughts and, and what you want it to look like. And again, I have a feeling most people will start out keeping them relatively simple. And then you'll get about three or four of them done. So we added the eye zinc. You can see we added the eye zinc to this one. You'll get three or four of them done. And then all of a sudden, you're going to let your imagination and your creativity take over. And you're going to be, well, what if the eye zinc all over that? What if I did this? Or what if I did that? How would it look if? Could I? Well, sure you can. You never know until you try. In fact, on this one, I could, if I wanted to, go back in. And even though I've got my card already on there, I could just kind of distress my edges and vintage it up just a little bit all the way around. And you can see the difference. I'll do about half of it so you can see, see the difference. When you just add that little bit of ink versus it all white. Which do you prefer? You have options, lots and lots and lots of options with this. And if you're hosting um, a crafting club or doing something for church or the seniors or kids, then they have lots and lots of options. And because I didn't use anything other than some scissors and some, some Stacy tape, I, I don't have to, I don't have to use the glitter if I don't want to. I don't have to use the daubers and ink it if I don't want to. You can make some beautiful things very, very quickly and very, very simply. But what if we wanted to take it to the next level? Okay, let's do that. Put these over there. I have already made a mess. <laughs> I haven't even started yet and I've already made a mess. What if I wanted to take it to the next level? Well, the next thing that she has is a die and stamp set that go with the kit. Now this you do need to have a die cutting machine or you do have to want a stamp. Do you have to buy them? You, uh, no. Do you want them? Maybe. <laughs> I can't tell you. I don't know. But they are beautiful. And it's a whole big clear set and you've got sentiments and you've got the you've got the beautiful sunflower. And I'm going to start with that beautiful sunflower. And I'm going to make myself pretty much a hot mess. I'm going to show you how you really just need to feel the color as opposed to think about the color. And you're like, what do you, what do you mean feel the color? Oh, Stacy. Gosh, when I was done playing with it, I put it down. There we go. I didn't put it between the liners. All right. I'm going to start with my big sunflower and this is a clear stamp set. So to do this, I'm going to need to have some sort of a block, a clear block. Now this is going to cling there and it's going to peel off and it's going to cling there and it's going to peel off and it's going to cling. So it's meant to be used again and again and again. Let me grab my, if for some reason it stops clinging, mine's got glitter all over it. Clean your block and clean the back of your stamp. Look at how much glitter is on the back of my stamp. Holy smokes, sort of chokes. Can you see that? A little Dawn dishwashing detergent will work beautifully. Palm olive will work beautifully. Stay away from a solvent cleaner. Do not use something that you would use to clean stays on. 
That's not good for your clear stamps. Stacy, I don't have a block, but I love the stamp. Okay, well, if you have a die cutting machine, chances are you have a block. Anything that is acrylic, solid, plastic, you're going to be able to use just fine. Doesn't matter what it is. This is a cutting pad for Sizzix, a cutting plate. So if you don't have a block, all right, I, I just know you have to have something in your crafty room that you can use until you're able to get yourself a block. We sell the Ducrafts blocks, which are a really great price. So um, when it comes time for blocks, I would recommend the Ducrafts because the price is amazing. Now I am gonna bring over my gush mat. And what's a gush mat? Well, anytime you're stamping anything, you wanna use a gush mat. And what the gush mat does is it allows you to add good pressure. And your stamp has the opportunity to connect with your paper and sink down into that gush mat, making good contact between the stamp and the paper, giving you a good impression. However, there are sometimes some exceptions. When you have a big stamp, like a background stamp, sometimes it's easier to stamp it face up and put your paper down this way. This stamp happens to have a huge center that's just a solid image of uh, just a huge center in, the, in that, that sunflower. And because it's such a big solid image of black ink or with brown ink, whatever you're using, sometimes it's hard to get pressure right in that center so that you have a good all over image. I'm gonna stamp assuming that I'm you and I'm gonna try and get just a mm, stamp. Now, you'll see I'm not doing this. I'm laying my stamp down and I'm doing this. Why? Because then I can see where I've inked. If I'm doing this, this is okay if you're working with a small stamp, but if you're working with a large stamp, you really wanna just lay it down and ink it up good. Now I'm gonna put my paper down, turn my block around, and I'm gonna give pressure. I'm not gonna do chest compressions. I'm going to give all over pressure and I am using Memento ink, which is a dye based ink. It does not move with water. Memento ink or Hero Arts India ink is great. I will tell you the Hero Arts India ink will keep your stamp black. You'll never, never, never be able to get that, that black off of it. And that's okay. It doesn't transfer. You just have to know that your stamp will be stained black. Okay, so I've given good all over pressure. got a reasonable image that's not so bad it's not so bad I bet I could do better if I inked it up and put my paper on top okay and also I'm not doing this um how was your day today what's for dinner um <laughs> Did you go shopping today? I, this has got more than enough ink on it. Way more than enough ink. Let me grab another piece of paper. Is that big enough? By the hair of a chinny chin chin. Let's grab, cut this one down a little bit. Okay, this time I'm gonna put my, my paper right on top of my stamp, directly on top of my stamp. And I'm gonna give a nice back massage. Just a nice back massage. Good pressure, I wanna make sure that I feel everything. I feel the whole stamp, I do all the edges, I get all the way down to the bottom. Get that center good. And for those of you who have arthritis, you might find that for your stamping, this may be a better way. Oh, yep, yeah, better. Can you see the difference between the centers? This one's a little light. It's not bad, but this one is definitely better. And if you have trouble with your fingers and your hands and holding a block can be a little difficult for you, just turn your stamps upside down and go. Now, I'm gonna make a hot mess of this. I'm gonna move this out of my way and I am gonna bring over my memento ink in yellow and this is the dewdrop size 
love the dewdrop size, boy, because mementos will come in full size, they'll come in dewdrop, they come in a reinker and a marker. I only carry, oh well, I sell the full size in every color. You can have them full size in every color if you want, but I only keep a full size in the colors I use most often, which are black and brown. These are like $6.30. These, however, are $2.30, and being that there's at least 36 colors, I don't know that I'm gonna use my Tangelo orange all the time, but I want an orange. This allows you to have a color without spending too much money for it, and it is completely re-inkable. So you can buy the refill for it and keep this forever. You never have to throw it away. You never have to get rid of it. And that way you can have a whole bunch of different colors without having to spend the money for full size pads. So I'm gonna play with my yellow first because that's me. I start everything in yellow. Don't know why, I just do. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna swirl my color around. And you're like, oh, you're going out of the lines already. I know, it's okay. I want to go out of the lines. I want this to extend past the lines. And I'm even going to add yellow to my stem and my leaves. You're like, are you kidding? Nope, I'm not kidding at all. I like a good solid foundation. So I go with an all over color. That gives me a nice foundation. Okay. There we are. Now I'm gonna build on that color. So the next one I'm gonna go to is my orange. And I'm gonna build on that yellow. So I'm gonna open my orange, take my dauber, daub it in, and add a little bit of orange. And I'm just gonna go around the outside, not all the way on the inside. and add some orange. And again, I do wanna go outside the lines. I don't wanna worry about those lines. I just wanna get some of this color in. So there I am. Now I could even take a little bit of my brown if I wanted and even just add a little bit of brown just at those tips. Just a little bit of brown. It really is up to you. And then some of that brown right in the center. I told you it was gonna kind of be a hot mess. Now I still have my leaves to do. So I'm gonna grab my green. I'm gonna keep that out because I know I'm gonna use that. Oh, I'm gonna grab my green. And you're gonna say, but you put yellow down there, Stacy. I know I put yellow down there. Wait. I'm gonna come in with my green and I'm just gonna go right over that yellow. Just right over that yellow. And what's nice is it starts to give a little bit of dimension to those leaves because I'm not covering up all the yellow. I'm just kind of blending that green in. And then I can come back with my brown. And I could add a little bit of shading. like I still don't see it <laughs> I know wait wait don't leave me yet you'll see it now because I'm me I generally will take my yellow and just go back over one more time to make sure everything is lovely like blended that's me 
Okay, so I've used black to stamp, green, yellow, orange, and brown. All in the small sizes to get me this far. Now I need to die cut. Some of you may want to die cut first. And I say, whoa, back it up. <laughs> it is usually easier to stamp and color than to die cut out the piece of paper and try to color it that way. So I've got the matching die and I'm going to be able to line it up. Now, why did I color outside the lines? Well, what happens if I'm just slightly off? Just a little bit. I don't want any white around the outside edges. So if I've gone outside the lines, I'm sure that when I cut this, even if I'm just a little slightly off, and okay, it's okay to be a little off. This is a handmade card. It's a handmade layout. It's a handmade um, tray that you're gonna decoupage these into, a serving tray. It's okay to be a little off. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> some people say I'm a lot off. <laughs> now I've got my Sizzix Big Shot machine and I did a new do's and don'ts of the Sizzix Big Shot machine. It's YouTube number 288 and it really does give you an all around um, uh, idea of how to use it. It is a class, it is two hours long, so you will learn something. And it is actually the third time I've done a do's and don'ts for the Sizzix Big Shot machine. And you can go back and watch all of them because they all show you something different as the machine and its tools have evolved over the years. I have got my magnetic platform. Now, somebody sent me an email because I said that this is a, a, a want, it's not a need your machine will come with either a small multi-purpose platform or a long multi-purpose platform just depending upon how old your machine is or if you're just buying it right now it's coming with the long multi-purpose platform this comes with the machine and this and this will do the exact same thing this is an additional third 20 39.99 39.99 i think it is for a, a magnetic platform what does it do that's different well, I'm going to cut a wafer style die because this is a wafer die. I've got my cut plate down because you always sandwich with a Sizzix Big Shot machine. I've got my paper down and I've got my die. Now I'm going to try and center it and as I'm moving it slips. And now I've got to center it again or tape it down with some washi tape or a post-it note. So no matter what you do, it's going to slip. With a magnetic platform, it is just that. It's a magnet. And when you line up your die, no slipping. So somebody sent me an email or they posted on YouTube and they said, well, yes, this is a, a luxury item having a magnetic platform. It's a necessity luxury item. <laughs> I said, okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> it's great to put on your wish list and have somebody get you for your birthday or Mother's Day or what a Christmas, but it is very nice to have. So I've got this all lined up to the best of my ability. It may not be perfect. In fact, I'm sure it's not perfect, but I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it. I would sing the song, but I understand that there's copyright infringement if I sing on YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it through. You may hear some creaks, you may hear some cracks. It is an open frame die, which means it's not detailed at all. It does not need a precision base plate. It should be a one roll cut because it's an open frame die. And bam. How pretty is that? And it is so much easier to, to color your paper, stamp and color, then die cut, than to try and lay this down. I mean, you can see the, the stem is very, 
The stems for the leaves are very fine and if you're trying to color it after the fact, I just think you're going to have an easier time this way. Then, of course, you have the opportunity to add to it. I could go back in with my eye zinc and I could add a little bit of my burgundy if I wanted, my burgundy glitter. Uh, I'm afraid it's going to pop out and give me a whole bunch. Up, 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 slow and steady wins the race. Okay. <laughs> I can go in with my burgundy glitter and add a little bit of my burgundy. Oh, maybe my ink is still wet or my finger is still wet. Slow and steady wins the race. See if I can get my finger a little wet with it. There we go. So now I've added a little bit of brown in the center. I could go in and I love this color. I don't know what they call this. Or pastel. Or means gold, I think. But this is just a yummy color. And I could add this to my just my tips and it's going to dry pretty quickly really quickly because I'm adding very little and you see I'm just pressing down just a little bit and sticking my finger right on in it's totally water soluble so you don't have to worry it's going to wash right off of your finger and your craft mat it's going to dry super fast Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's already dry. So now I've added a little around the tips. I can scoop up a little more and if I wanted to add a little more to that center, to have that center kind of two-toned. It really is up to you what to do with it. And again, it's dry. I know, that's crazy, right? It's really dry. Look at that. Amazing, right? Have you ever seen anything like that ever? The first time I saw Isink glitter, I was astounded. I was like, oh, it was like the best thing ever. So now you can take this with all of the papers that they've given you, all of the matting papers, all of the pretty different things that they've done and make your own. I could cut this in half and put this on there. You've got options there. Where's the, did I move the paper that's really the longer paper? Oh, oh my goodness gracious. So here you could really start to add and develop and make just beautiful, beautiful things. Oh, right? up to you what you do but having the stamp and the die is a nice way to add another element do you need it no you don't need it you don't have to have it the kit is going to give you plenty all on its own is it nice to have the stamp and the die yes it is and the stamp set is larger it has many things to it <laughs> oh here it is here's the the one I'm supposed to show you at the end. So you have best wishes and you have sunflower and you have happy birthday and um, you are my sunshine. And then it has the, um, the leaf and different parts of the sunflower. And then the die has different parts to cut out. So it is nice to have. It's not a necessity, but it is nice to have. All right. So moving on, because now we have done, we've done die cutting and inking and glittering. And we did our basic card wherever I put it. It's here somewhere. Oh, we did my little bit basic card somewhere, but we did a simple card just using the, um, using the product that was in, here it is. Using the product that was in the kit.
Gosh, you could have done that too. And then popped that out. <gasps> right? I mean, it's just endless what you can do. It's just amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put this closer so I know where I put it. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is some of her other product that isn't part of the sunflower kit and is something called Matchets. So I'm gonna pull this out over here. Matchets, what are matchets? I didn't know either, had no clue. You start with this little book, and this little book has all of these pages in it of all of these flowers in all of these different colors. Right? So you get two of all the colors, two pages of everything. And then in the back, you get coordinating paper. All in one book. Beautiful, right? And there's many, many different books. Then, so you can buy the book just by itself. And if you're a fussy cutter, this is gonna make your heart happy because these are not pre-die cut for you. No, you would have to fussy cut, except Debbie made dies to match. You have the dies, you have the images, and you die cut your images out. Now, I'm gonna pull I'm going to pull, oh, oh, this one's good. I like this one, and I like this one, I like this one. <laughs> okay, that's bad. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put that in the trash, and I'm going to play with these and the dies. So I think I'm going to start here. You've got the dies that will coordinate with the page. So you've got the leaf to the leaf, and you've got the flower to the flower, and the three leaf to the three leaf, so that you're able to pop everything on this page out with the exception of your sentiments. And those, those you will have to fussy cut out. Now I'm gonna pull my die out, and I'm gonna see that it lines up right here. Now, how do you know if you're not too far one way or too far the other? Good question. Easiest way to know is Debbie's given you this little guide. I don't know if you can tell, maybe in the purple? Oh, in the purple you can really see it. So, can you see how there's a darker purple rim around this flower. It's actually around all of the flowers. And what that does is that gives you your little point of reference. You shouldn't be able to see any of that purple when you're getting ready to die cut. That tells you that you are lined up and ready to go. Easy peasy. So if I cut this guy out, Okay, let's just cut him out. And I bring over my machine. Well, let's cut him and some leaves. Now I'm gonna wanna stay away from my border because I'm gonna use this somewhere on one of the cards that I do. Even if it's not a card that I use with these flowers. I'm gonna bring over my Big Shot machine Put my paper down. I am working on my magnetic platform. So when I lay my die down, it's gonna go right on it and stay. I'm gonna line it up so I don't see any of that purple. Nope, pull it this way a little. Okay, so in my platform, my magnetic platform, the magnets are in various positions. 
and what can happen is because the dies are smaller it can want to go to where one of the magnets is you're going to have a natural tendency to try and reposition and reposition and reposition and it's still going to want to pull your best opportunity is to move the die in the paper to where that magnet wants to pull to and you're still going to cut beautifully it's still going to be great Oh, that doesn't look like it. I pulled the wrong one. This looks like it. You're still going to be able to pull and cut great, but see this one? It wants to move. It doesn't want to stay there. It wants to move over a little. So it's easier just to move my paper to where the die wants to go than try and move the die to where you want it to go. Now I've got them all lined up. Got my do not cut plate on the top. and send it on through. One roll should be great because these are open frame dies, meaning that there's nothing in the middle of them. Nothing in the middle. And then my leaf put them on my gotcha tool which is a simply refined product it's mine it holds all your dies in place and now I can start building whatever I want so if I tape those two together And yes, my tape runners are back in stock. Wahoo, we changed the packaging of them. So now my tape runners go into a Ziploc so that it will close for you and you can keep it sealed anytime you're not using it. This is the permanent. And gosh, I think it's 95 feet of position of tape runner, permanent tape runner for an incredible price. It's like $5.99 or $6.99. It's an unbelievable price for 95 feet, 92 feet. It's it's. It's amazing. So I sell the permanent, permanent plus, and removable, which is kind of like a posty note. It's not repositionable, it's removable. And, um, and that's very, very handy when you are wanting to mat something down to see if you like it, and then you wanna peel it up, and then mat it again and peel it up, because then you can just rub the back and the sticky comes off um, without leaving any residue. So we've started to use her matchets. And then, same thing. I could come over here, grab my purple, and just a little, a little dot will do you. And I could just come in here and just add a little bit of purple. Press a little bit on your to. Exp yeah, it just takes a little bit. If you just want to add a little something to it. And it just adds a little bit of bling, a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of a little bit of sparkle to it. And it's already dry. I mean, it's really already dry. And then you've got inside the book, you've got all of that paper in the back that you can then use to make your, couldn't you see, forget this right here, just cover that up. Couldn't you see a beautiful, a beautiful picture right there? Mat it in a purple and then put it on top of here for your layouts. I mean, these are like amazing for your scrapbooks. This is amazing because the mats are big enough for you to do something with and you don't need to add much more than some cardstock. If you want to cover that up with cardstock, go right ahead and then match your picture on front of it and then add your little, add your little flower 
and you can 3D them so that they pop. It's wonderful, the Match It books, and she has so many of them. Everything from an Alice in Wonderland type of theme to um, mermaids to fairies. I've got samples of all of it, but so, so easy to do. And when everything is given to you to coordinate, it gives you the time to play as opposed to the energy of trying to put everything, does this match with this and does that go with that? And especially if you're a newbie crafter, this is an awesome way to start because you're gonna feel accomplished. No matter what you do, you're going to feel, I did that, I did that. And yes, yes you did, you did. And that kit, that kit is a wonderful place to start. And if you need a birthday gift or a Christmas gift, that kit is also an amazing place to start. So we have been playing with the Debbie Moore and We've been playing with the die cut and oh, I've got purple on my on my sunflower. We've been playing with the kit and just well now I need to finish. Okay, I'm sorry. I saw that in the mirror and it's or in the camera and it's bothering me. So now I'm just going to finish this because I don't like it halfy halfy. I'm just going to finish edging my sides even though I've already mounted everything. You can go back, you don't, if you wanted to get rid of some of that white and not have it so white and have it a little more distressed, no problem. And I'm just using my Memento ink. What do you have? Do you have Tim Holtz ink? Do you have Blom Fawn ink? Whose inks do you have? Do you have the Mementos? Do you have the Prima ink? Do you have Hero Art ink? What ink? Do you have Tonic ink? What ink makes your heart happy? Because they're all going to work as long as you have a dauber or a makeup sponge. Okay, there, that's better. Now, it doesn't bother me as much. <laughs> so we did something straight out of the kit. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. But then, then we embellished on it and we die cut and we colored and we colored before we, we um, die cut. So we stamped our image and then colored all around the stamp and then used the die cut to get it out so that you have a little bit more opportunity. Can you see, can you see, I don't know if I can get it in there close enough. It's not exactly on, but because I've colored outside the lines of my stamp, you don't see any white. That white just disappears. So easy peasy, a little more difficult, and then playing with her, with her beautiful, beautiful books that are called matchets that have dies and the pre-printed pages that are already three-dimensional for you to have you start creating. And again, the eyes ink glitter that you just can't go wrong with. It dries in an absolute heartbeat. So if you're kind of iffy about glitter because you just don't like the mess of it, this is, this is gonna rock your world. Or if you're like me and you put your arm through it, this is gonna rock your world. So let's give it a half a second. About 30 seconds. Nope, it's already starting to dry. Amazing. And if you don't like color at all, if color doesn't work for you, they have this crystally one. Mm, I'm afraid it's going to pop out. I don't want it to pop all the way out. Oh, make it my crystally one. Don't pop all the way out. <gasps> just go over gosh where were those white ones I love those white flowers oh you can take that crystally one 
and just add it to anything. And it doesn't add color and it doesn't add iridescence. It just adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of soft glitter. Love the crystally one. It's my favorite, I think. And it is, it's just called white, which is N-A-R-C-E, I think is <laughs> was white in French. I love the crystally one because you can add it to just about anything and it dries clear, but it just adds a little bit of sparkle without being too iridescent. It's glitter without being overly glitter. Now I've got lots of glitter going on at any rate. Love this one. So eye zinc is, is user friendly and it's all over my fingers. I'm just gonna wipe it right off. Water soluble. Go wash the kids hands or go wash uh, your hands and you're going to be able to get it right off. And we're dry. Yep, see? <laughs> All right, I have got tons and tons and tons of samples for you to see. <laughs> and I think I'm going to start with the kit. So here is the kit. Oop, this is how it comes packaged. Everything you see, everything I told you is in it. Samples of ideas of what you could do, but what you want to do is up to you. It's entirely up to you. And then I already showed you this card here. And I already showed you this card here. Let me bring over the rest. Okay, so I've got. So they could be doing this in the make and take right now. They could be doing this in the make and take right now. They could be doing this in the make and take right now. Remember, I told you, slice it right in half. Look at how cute is that. But then, then we added, look at this one. This one we added the dye to. Uh-huh, super cute. That one we added the dye. All the papers from the kits though. This one, straight out of the kit. And this is just literally the paper. And you can see we put some eye zinc on it and a sentiment. This one we die cut and colored. This one we die cut and colored. Right? Eye zinc glitter all over it. How beautiful is this? Again, using the die. Is that gorgeous? And wait, are you waiting for it? Look at this. Is that not magnificent? Who wouldn't love, put a little hanger on that or put it on an easel? This is absolutely gorgeous. This is done with the die and the stamp. And her paper that comes in the kit. But I have more. Oh my goodness gracious, I have more. Okay. Then, if you want to get, see, here's another one done straight from the kit, and that even has her brown glitter on it. Oh, I can see I've got glitter all over my sweatshirt. <laughs> but then you can start getting into playing with scoring your paper and making a cute little card. Isn't that darling? A little step card. Here's a basic out of the five by five. Ha! Huh. So for you creative crafters, 
who want to take it to the next level, you absolutely have that opportunity. And all of this was done out of the one kit. I'm all out of the one kit. Look at how cute is this. Love, love, love. This is just using the backing paper and a sentiment. This is that beautiful, beautiful backing paper. Beautiful backing paper, a little bit of the glitter that it comes with and the sentiment. Yeah, really honest, it's that simple. But it doesn't have to be that simple. Hello. How amazing is that? It's just scoring your paper. Look, at it's just scoring your paper right there so that you're able to take it and fold. You only glue down the top part. The bottom here is the only part you glue down at the circle so that when you fold it, you're able to put it up. It doesn't have to be simple if you don't want it to be. Okay, I still have more samples. We're gonna get into some of the more um, advanced, a little bit more advanced cards. Right? It's just a matter of scoring your paper. That's all it is. Again, just scoring your paper and using the kit. That's scoring the actual card right down at the center of it. So you can do that. Amazing, right? Look at how beautiful is that. Absolutely gorgeous. And she reformatted the kit so you are able to do 5 by 7, A6, and 5 by 5s. I'm almost done. I know it was a lot, but how do you choose which ones to show and which ones not to show when they all are beautiful? Because then I've got the, the, the match it's to show you. Okay. I'm almost there. I love this. I just love how soft it is. But then I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I love this paper. I think that might be my favorite, actually, now that I see all the samples. And then one more easel. Or step card. Super cute, right? Super cute. Okay. Then we have the match it books. Oh, and, and the stamp and die. Stamp, die. Then we have the match it books. And um, I played with this one, which is the, I don't know, does it have a name to a special friend? I don't know if this has got a name to it or not, but I like it. It's got the flowers. Then you've got things like Alice in Wonderland and White Rabbit and all the White Rabbit and all the Alice in Wonderland with the die. Then you've got the Mad Hatter. Again, lots of Mad Hatters. If you're an Alice fan, oh my goodness gracious, this is your happy day. And again, all the papers that are going to coordinate so you can have your own tea party. Then of course we have Alice <laughs> to go with, because you can't have a white rabbit and Mad Hatter without Alice. But then there's other ones that are just gorgeous. The peacock is amazing, amazing. And all the beautiful papers to go with. And the cute uh, flamingo is darling. And the hummingbird 
is stunning. The hummingbird is stunning. It's beautiful. And, oh my goodness, then we've got mermaid. And she's beautiful. And then the papers. And then we've got another mermaid <laughs> in a different configuration. There we go. You can buy just the book, you can buy just the die, or you can buy the two. And the third mermaid, which is beautiful. And then I tell you, I'm not done. Then we did the flowers that I did. And then we have another set of flowers. I want to say there's three or four, no, maybe four or five different sets of flowers. Flowers are gorgeous. You can't go wrong with any of them. And if you haven't seen them before, it's because she's out of the UK. Oh, and then you have the fairies. Oh my gosh, the fairies are beautiful. Really, the fairies are just magnificent. And I want to say there's three different fairies, I think. Yeah, there's three different fairies. So I've got samples of all of this to show you. So let me show you the pretty, oh, is she not? Oh, don't you love her? And all the different colors that she comes in. Just beautiful. Okay, so here's a fairy. And here's a fairy. And she easels up. Okay, who, who, this is magnificent. She's absolutely breathtaking. So if you're into fussy cutting, then you just need the book. But if you want to be able to die cut, you need the two. And then we have some of the roses that I did. This is out of the one I played with. And remember I told you there were three or four different uh, flower cards or flower matchets? There's one of the others, one of the other books. And here's one from Oh, they're just magnificent. And then, oh my goodness gracious. So let me bring these on over. I told you that the hummingbird was magnificent. Look at the hummingbird. It's already colored for you. A little bit of glitter and you are good to go. And then the peacock. And the flamingo. And then the Alice. Hello, Mad Hatter. And the Mad Hatter with Alice. And this one, it easels up. And he easels up. Oh, is that magnificent? I know, right? <laughs> That's just absolutely rock star. And then they easel down. And it all has to do with just your paper. It's just scoring your paper. That's it. And here we have just Alice. And then last but not least, we have some of the beautiful mermaids. 
So quantities are limited on these, and I do mean that. So if you're watching this three weeks from the date I actually YouTubed it and they're gone, I'm so, so sorry. And then last but not least. Isn't that great? just want her to light. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So, Debbie Moore has come to Scrapbooking Made Simple. Let me tilt on back a little bit. Ooh, back, 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 back. Debbie Moore has come to Scrapbooking Made Simple, and we can't thank her enough for everything she did to get this collection here, to get it modified for us here in the United States where we send more A2 and A6 and 5x7 cards. And those of you who love 5x7 cards, then you're going to love all of this too because we took the smallest of the European cards, which was a 5x7, which is the largest of the US. So you can make bigger cards with these kits. You can but you can also keep them to the size we most often send. Oh my gosh, the match it kits with the, the books and the dies. And if you love to fussy cut, well then just get the books and you can fussy cut. Well, you'll be fussy cutting for a while. <laughs> and then the, the, the Aladdin eye zinc glitter that dries like that. You can't go wrong. Use the inks you already have to play with and see if they'll do the distressing for you or if they'll color the paper and do your stamping first and then color and then die cut. All right, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Excited to have Debbie Moore. I've been, I've been looking at her products for years and just admiring them. And when I finally saw she was going to be at Creativation, Ah, well, you see what happened. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you next week. And again, let's just give a big thanks to Debbie for all of her help and Jessica. They were absolutely wonderful. And from Mr. SMS and I to you, thank you for taking the paper off our hands. We needed it to go because I wasn't sure what we were going to do. <laughs> I'll let you know if we are going to be able to stay in our rental house or not. I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.